Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. As the Queen heads to Balmoral for the summer this week, I still remember the one time that I made her really angry or maybe just a little bit frustrated. The Queen communicates with her chefs through a red leather-bound menu book called the Menu Royale, and that's where the chefs suggest breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner and the queen actually chooses what she wants for those meals. That way the chefs can get the food in and prepare everything. And we usually get about three days notice. Foolproof, you might think. It works perfectly. Well, not exactly. Whenever you put a new recipe on for the queen, a new dish, she likes to see the recipe. For the most part, the queen eats the same menu, the same dishes all the time. I guess like we all do. But when it's a new dish, she wants to see the recipe. If you don't send the recipe up to the Queen, you get a note back like this. At Balmoral Castle, we have an abundance of strawberries in the gardens. And I found this really unique and fascinating recipe called Tilschlauter Bonderpicker. I know, right? Translated, that means veiled farmer's daughter. I don't know why. I put it on the menu, sent it up to the queen, and forgot to send the recipe. This is what I got from the queen, a handwritten note. What or who are the veiled farmer's daughters? Till Lord, uh, veiled farmer's daughter, is a really popular Scandinavian dish, Scandinavian dessert. And it's super easy to make and it's so versatile, but it tastes so good as well. And you start off with some whole wheat breadcrumbs and some muscovado sugar and cinnamon. And you're just going to toast these off in the oven and make a really nice crust. I mean, I guess it's like a muesli, but it tastes even better, especially when it's homemade. And I'm using muscovado sugar in there, which I absolutely adore. And the flavor in there is just incredible. If you don't have muscovado sugar, you can buy it online. But if you don't have muscovado sugar, you can just use regular brown sugar in there. Onto a baking sheet in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. Just spread it out. And what happens is, the waters in the sugar start to just melt and open up and then we get this really crunchy uh, topping that goes onto this strawberry dish in a few minutes. Vel Farmer's daughter in the winter is usually made with just a few simple ingredients the cinnamon crunch bread mix and then you know sugar in that too and then some apples pureed apples and some whipped cream but in the summer, the apples are substituted for some strawberries, some soft berries, any soft berries. And I like to add a little sugar in there and some orange liqueur. If you're cooking this for the children, you can use orange juice instead. But by stirring those together, it really opens up the berries and lets all the berries actually leach out their flavor and juices. And when we mix it with the cream and the crunch, it tastes incredible. Then I'm going to put into that a little fresh orange zest, just to give it that zing and zest. When the cinnamon crumbs come out of the oven, you can let them cool down and then just move them about a little bit just to break them up. They smell so good, that cinnamon in there. Next, we've got to whip some cream. When you're whipping cream, if you're going to do this by hand, don't whisk from the elbow up here, right? Like a chicken. You're whisking from the wrist. That's where you can get all that strength to just whisk away. And you're just gonna whisk this until it's stiff. At Balmoral Castle, we had an abundance of soft fruit strawberries, raspberries, 
red currants, black currants, gooseberries, so much fruit. Frais de bois were amazing. This dish would actually work with any of the berries, it would be perfect. So now, once the Queen had seen the recipe, we can actually get this approved and put on the menu all the time. The Queen would eat strawberries three or four nights a week at Balmoral if they were in season. You try sending them up in January when they taste like carrots. I mean, why would you? But off with your head, off to the tower. She loved them in season, really enjoyed eating the summer fruits from her garden. So start with some of the berries and the juice in the glass. And you can do little individual ones like this or you know one large bowl. And then just keep alternating the layers so there's a little crunch. And then some more berries. And don't forget to put that juice in there too. More cream. And then just finish with a sprinkle of the cinnamon crumbs. Tilschlauter Bondepicker, Veiled Farmer's Daughter, a super easy to make dish for the summer. A few ingredients, you can use any soft fruits that you want to, and make it for your family too. Oh, if you do, send the recipe up to them first and you won't get a letter like this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and I'll see you again soon. Oh, it looks so good.